Hi, welcome back to Fighting 50. Today we've got an extremely exciting new product range to talk to you about. This is the Superfood series from Bodine Birch. Nikki, this is a brand that we've both been passionate about since the beginning, really. We have, and I think um, there's a th several things that are, are really key with this brand. Um, one of the things, and it's interesting, we get a lot of questions, it's actually a British-made brand, and I think now, you know, a lot of people want to buy British, so that's great. And the other thing I would say is Bodie & Birch, um, as a brand, is made with a lot of love. Um, Elijah Chu, who is the founder and creator of the products and the brand, um, has worked tirelessly and very much the brand as a whole um, is like a meeting of East and West. Yeah, definitely. Um, and the existing range, as it was, which is bath, body, and um, some skincare, was always based around essential oils. Yes. And I think the thing that um, Elijah is so passionate about is bringing absolutely top quality organic ingredients together to make really powerful formulations, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And I know this range has taken about three years, hasn't yes. it, to, to produce. And I think moving away from the essential oils, he wanted products that were still pleasing to to all the senses. You yeah. know? So they look great, they smell amazing, they're, they're powerful when combined. Mm -hmm. So I think to actually get these incredible ingredients that, that some of us may have used singly, but yes. not not combined in the same way has taken a long time and I think to get something right and what's interesting is so many products have a fragrance added yes. because they're masking something and what Elijah's done is brought the absolute finest quality products together that actually are appealing to the senses yes. without essential yeah. oils. And I think what's interesting is there's a lot of talk of clean beauty at the moment and really you know we were talking about it earlier what does it mean um i think what's much more interesting is getting the best quality ingredients that do give results um that um those consumers who do want a more natural range but still with results you know this is where you need to go clean beauty doesn't really mean anything you know we always get questions about that and nasties and you yeah. know yeah but do you think that a brand like Bodie and Birch they don't need to put no, clean. it's a marketing claim they just don't need to say clean no. because anybody who's passionate enough to investigate this brand will know that yeah. the whole ethos of the brand is superior ingredients um, ethically sourced, ethically grown, um, it, it's kind of like the blueprint of the, the yeah. brand. They don't yeah. need to say we're a clean, clean beauty brand because it, it's written all over yeah. it. And I think also, you know, when you see packaging like this, these dark glass bottles, again, you know that that quality is there to, to preserve the ingredients, you yeah. know? So it's not about, I'm a clean beauty brand and having something that's pretty and pink, yeah, because, absolutely. you know, yeah. it's... Um, so no, so if you are looking for a great brand that has the ethical um, stance, that has the results and has the amazing um, ingredient quality, then this is where you need to go. Absolutely. Know? And also, as you can see, it's a simple brand. Um, and it's what a, it's a learning. compact range, isn't it? Yeah. And everything is there for a reason and yeah. a purpose. It's not being produced to tick a box. No, you know? and it's not skincare specific across the products. And it is also, you'll see when we talk about the products, interestingly enough, you can kind of cocktail and wardrobe, we like the word wardrobe, your skincare. So if you do build the range, you know, you can dip in and out and there's quite a few of them that you can mix together as well. Yeah, so what you're doing is taking an original product, combining it and almost like producing another, yeah. another yeah. product from yeah. it, another way of using it. So, I think you're going to kick us off. I our am. first product. Now, this, this is like my second favourite, but I am... You know, when, you, when you've watched our videos, you'll know that we're both big fans of cleansing balms. Um, very much so. But you know, quite often they follow a certain mould and they're all very similar. Um, we were lucky enough to try this brand um, prior to the launch. And um, so these are brand new products actually, which is why. But when you see our own products, they've been very well used. Um, <laughs> In fact, Nikki asked me before we started filming, could you get me a spatula? 
guess what I've forgotten so okay so have a look at that it's a shame you can't smell it actually oh. we should have had smell a vision so um, this is the Avabau cleansing balm and as the colour and the name um, suggests it is very very rich in avocado do you remember how you told me how to say this I can't remember what was the avo well I think Elijah had said avo bio as in or bio as in something or other and I said oh I'll have to remember that and you said yes bio as in mayo you'll never bio forget mayo so it melts down very very quickly and in fact if you have this product if you buy this product and we have another flash of that warm weather just be careful because it will liquefy in the jar but use this on dry skin it removes all your makeup i've used it around my eye yeah. area um, absolutely fine it melts down to the most amazing oil um, and what's interesting about this um, product is when uh, I first used it, I thought, oh, it's really interesting. Like, it has the most amazing smell. The fragrance is incredible. I think that comes from the plum kernel oil. Yes, oil, so on, and it's actually in a few of the products, the plum kernel oil in there, which is really good um, antioxidant, almost has that marzipan it really smell. It has a, a distinct marzipan smell, but not in an overly sweet No, it's way. like a real crushed nut. It's not a, um, not a sugary marzipan if you don't like it's marzipan. It's very gorgeous. Um, and the other thing that's interesting, the butters in here, um, the shea butter and the cake butter, are so fine. Sometimes, and I was talking to somebody online yesterday actually, sometimes with butter-based cleansers, they can be very waxy. Yeah, and this really isn't, no, is it? It, no. it actually releases the oil so beautifully. And, and it very, very slightly grainy from the texture. It is, isn't it? It's, which completely melts down. Yeah. Um, but it is well, the see. most comfortable. You can probably see the consistency. Um, we also have um, spirulina in here and you know when I was first looking at the ingredients on this range it reminded me of taking a walk down the aisles in Whole Foods mm. because as much as I love the beauty part of Whole Foods you and I are really we oh, kind we of straight we, to the beauty but we also get really stuck around the supplements <laughs> you know supplements and pouches of powders and all the things you think are going to be wonderful so um, you've got in here avocado baobab hemp Plum kernel, which we said is the smell, green coffee and spirulina. So these are all the seed oils, aren't they? Seed oils, and what's interesting is these give you nutrients, polyphenols, antioxidants. So all You're feeding the skin, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, all the things that you need to to clean and, and nourish the skin, completely non non drying, and you know. The products have specific effects, but one of the things I would say in entirety with the cleansers and the serum um, and probably the hydrosol is that they're amazing if you have that sensitized or I need a, need a cuddle kind yeah, of skin. Yeah. You know, like that's Especially at the end of the summer. Blanket. The end of the summer, your skin's slightly dehydrated, you may have been on holiday, a little bit too much sun. I find if you're using a balm like this, you're starting to, to nourish and feed the mm. skin right from cleansing Stop. point. Yeah. You know, before you even get on to using a serum. Mm. So I think that's why this, this product for me is so important. I mean, we, we love cleansing. I can't believe it when people say, oh, I couldn't be bothered to take my makeup off. No, no, no. For me, that's the best part of the day, that ritual in the evening of, of nourishing your skin. So this is 100 grams. 55 pounds. 55 pounds. And you need the tiniest amount. Yeah. And you can get this from the Bodie and Birch website, which we're going to link to at the bottom of the video. I love the packaging, don't yeah. you? It's simple, that is clean. I mean, the packaging is nice and clean. Um, and what's interesting as well, um, Bodie and Birch have great information on their website as well, from the um, ingredients through to the kind of what you can smell and all that. But also on this packaging here, it says 100% natural ingredients, of which 80% is certified organic. So, I you mean, know, they give you all that detail. Is, is a lot, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a really gorgeous product. I'm slightly addicted to the smell. I am as well. I absolutely love the smell. It's beautiful, isn't it? 
really, really nice. So that's the Avo Beo um, cleansing balm, Bodium Birch. Links below the video where to, um, where to purchase any questions. Um, just let us know, drop them below the video and we will get them answered. Right. So we have a second, yeah, we have a second cleanser here. And I knew from the minute I, before I even opened the little bottle of this that I was sent to try, I knew I would love this because I love tomato in skincare. Anything, <laughs> anything yes. Um, and this is the tomato seed cleansing oil. So again, in the glass, dark glass bottle to preserve the ingredients. And I think one of the things that's interesting is, can you see, you can see the color of that. So this is, oh again, it's that smell. The thing about it is that it, if you're smelling smells in nature, this is what they smell like. You know, the, the, this, Smells like tomatoey, very slightly tomatoey. Again, that marzipan yep. coming through from the, the plum kernel seed. Um, it, do you know what? It just feels and smells enriching, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It, it smells it, like it's enriching your skin. So, this product. You don't just use it as a cleanser, do you? You can mix the other, which we're going to come to at the end, but you can actually mix in other products, can't you? You can. Um, so I sometimes use this just as a cleanser. Yeah. You can mix the tomato seed with the balm, yeah. the other bowel, to make more of a lotion cleanser. Right. Um, and then dry skin and then just remove with a cloth. The one thing that's important to say, there's no artificial colour in any of these products um, and the green you see in here and the golden color in here uh, are all natural and what you may find is um, you know you will see a little bit of that color on your washcloth but you know it, it, it's yeah or use a darker washcloth exactly, you know exactly. just just use that but I think you have to expect that in a product that's that's completely and it shows natural. you how potent it is you yeah. know and your skin feels gorgeous. Um, so rich in vitamin E again from the tomato seed. So really antioxidant um, benefits. And again, really comforting on the skin, non-drying. Um, one of the things that I think would be interesting actually, and we'll have to maybe get some of the guys that we know to try this, is I think this might make quite a nice shaving kind of oil. You know, like that comfort. That could be really good. Mm. Yeah, because again, it's hydrating at the same time exactly. as cleansing, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. But the, the truth is, you can use this as a serum as well. Yeah. Because when I was testing this product before we went away, I actually preferred it as a serum. Oh, interesting. To a cleansing, because I love a balm. So an oil isn't, I don't know, it's, it's just not the same for me, but I particularly like it as a serum. And it really does hydrate and moisturize. You might like it. that, that's, that's the two that's mixed a, together. That's probably a better mix, isn't it? I bet it's amazing, isn't it? It smells amazing. One? Yeah, it's gorgeous. More subtle though, isn't it? Yeah, I think the uh, the cleansing balm has neutralized some yeah. of the sharpness of the... Uh, yeah. Of the oil. Very interesting. Very interesting how you can mix and match the products. Um, rose hip, pomegranate, again, all antioxidants, so all protecting the skin layer, um, helping to strengthen the skin layer as well. So, again, if your um, kind of um, natural moisturizing factors are compromised with medication or weather or aircon, environmental, then it's going to be great. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and I think as well either of these would be nice maybe to put a really fine layer on and just kind of sit in the bath, you know, and let the steam... Yeah, because it really will work into your pores, mm -hmm. won't it, and release any, mm -hmm. um, any makeup that you're using or, um, or SPF. Both these products break down SPF really nicely. Yes, yes. Because we're always saying, wear your SPF every day, you know, don't forget to put it on. So important getting it off as yeah. well and actually getting out of your um, skin and I think that's a really good point. If you put it on, have a bath and you've got that steam helping yeah. to open the pores Work and you're, you're really breaking it down. Great. So that one is 55 
um, as well. So that's the tomato seed it's good, isn't it? It's quite a big bottle, yeah. isn't it? It's 100 mil, yeah. isn't it, I think? Yep, yeah. 100 mil. Okay, so moving on. The next product is the Rention Root Exfoliant and Mask. Now, this is an interesting product because it's a dry powder. Now, do you want it in the palm of yeah, your hand? Yes, let's do it like this. So, I don't know if you can see this, but this is just a dry, a dry powder. And this is made up of ginseng. Gosh, the, the ingredients are amazing. You've got wild germ, cat's claw, you've got kale in clays. I'm reading this because there's too many to remember. Yeah, it's, the kale. it's the fact that it's the clays and the sort of exfoliating action that... Now, Nikki's going to try this with the tomato seed. I'm going to try it with a product we haven't told you about yet. But this is the lemon hydrosol. I'm going to try and do this without yeah. squirting it oh, everywhere. Now, what you can do with this product, I'm making a mess here now already, with this product you can make it into an exfoliant, you can make it into a face mask, and what it's really doing is, is working, we're going to make such a mess now aren't we, it's really working on clearing your skin, um, it's, it's making it even more healthy. Now look how different it looks. Yeah. You've probably put a little bit more liquid. You can use it with the Avobeo. Um, again, put this, if you just want to exfoliate quickly in the morning, you can do that. If you want to use it as a face mask in the evening, I'm just taking this off because I'm going to get it everywhere. <laughs> Anyone who's seen any of our videos will know this is probably not a good thing for me to be doing. I should have just let Nikki do this because she'll do it in a much better way. So, Wrench and Root, it's got all these gorgeous ingredients. You've got antioxidants, you've got phytonutrients. Um, look, the a mess I've made. Um, so, also you've got cacao, fruit powders. So these are refining the skin, nourishing the skin, clearing it. It's such a useful, um, it's, it's a universal product, a product you can use in so many different ways. And I think the fact that you are customising it yourself yeah. lets you get the texture you want, lets you get the kind of buffer ingredient you want, whether it's the hydrosol or one of the oils or the avabo. Um, all the instru instructions are on the side and the different ways you can do it. Um, so you can mix it with the balm because it makes it obviously a bit denser, use it as a face mask. You can use um, it just with water. I mean, you yeah. don't have to, um, you really don't have to be mixing it with anything other than, than tap mm. water if you want to. This is a nice one actually, and I haven't tried this, is to mix it with yogurt and honey as a face mask. Now that would be interesting, yeah. wouldn't yeah. it? Might be one we have to try. Yeah, we'll definitely put that on the list. But what you've got is that, that cleansing um, ingredients with the, with the clays, but you've got nurturing ingredients as well. So it's not just no. Refining and, and cleansing the skin, it's also nourishing it as well. Yeah. And you don't have important. that abrasion of a scrub and the other thing that you don't have is that tight, tight drying of a clay that sometimes is difficult to exactly. get Exactly, yeah. Um, exactly. And also it's a gentle exfoliant as well. Yeah. So you're not too, you haven't got anything harsh in there. Yeah. The powders are very fine, so it's gently buffing the skin. It's it's not you know causing any reaction. So even if you've got sensitive skin, yeah. you can do this very lightly and get this. And again, effect. you know, I mean totally a unisex range, and again I think for a guy kind of um, using the exfoliator before you shave to kind of make sure yeah. that you don't have any ingrown hair. Um, yeah. And also, I think for us, you know, we often forget, I think, to exfoliate down on our neck. Yeah. And sometimes they're too abrasive, whereas that's quite gentle. Yeah, it's really gentle. Sure. So, and how much is that one? That one is £60. It's £80. Grams. Forever, it? I was going to say, it's a really big, big bottle. But again, I love the idea that this is protected in a dark glass. Yeah. Um, 
And I think the other point that you made, which is really important, this really is a unisex range. Yeah. So there's no way a man would not like having that no. on their shelf. No. It works no. perfectly. And I think, it? you know, one of the things that I've always loved about Bodhi as a brand, and I think this really epitomizes it in a compact range, is it's, whether it, you know, it's organic, it's natural, it's plant-based, all of those things it looks really cool yeah it does you know um, and sometimes yeah, just look at the packaging yeah, you know it's absolutely yeah. beautiful we don't always want our um, kind of green skincare to be in brown paper no absolutely you know, not. dissolvable boxes or, or whatever no, you know. that's absolutely um, right. obviously all of this is recyclable and all of that which is great but it just looks great as well hmm. okay so this is one of your favorites isn't it this is you know, I've got two absolute favourites out of the range. One we haven't come to yet. Nick is going to tell you about that in a moment. But lemon hydrosol water. Lemon water hydrosol tonic. Let me get it right. I always call it lemon water. It's just become lemon water to me. But that is not its correct title. It's lemon water hydrosol tonic. Now what you've got here is a hydrating mist. Mm. I want you to listen to this. Inside here is a little crystal sphere, which crystal is great for healing and purity. And each bottle, each large bottle, has one of these little crystals in here, which is, you know, helping to sort of restore aura. And it, it just goes with that whole ethos mm. of, of Bodine Birch that you're protecting. Wellness. Yeah, you know, wellness and you're protecting your, your skin and your body. Now, this is a hyaluronic acid product which is giving deep moisture to mm. the skin. And again, you can use this in different ways. You can literally, would you like me to spritz you? Let me do it myself. Okay. Like she doesn't myself. trust me. No, I don't. Isn't it gorgeous? It's amazing. So, you've got, I've got to do it as well because I'm going to be envious. Isn't it amazing? Mm, it's amazing. The smell is fantastic so in here you've got the key ingredients just making sure I don't forget any of them so you've got lemon neroli and bergamot you have got hyaluronic acid and fruit enzymes so this product I like to use it I don't use it as a, a toner as such even though you can you mm. could use it straight after cleansing I like to use it just before I'm putting the next product on. Yeah. So if I've cleansed and I'm then going to, to moisturize, I'm gonna put a serum on, a spritz then just gives this gorgeous layer over the skin, helps trap in the moisture because that hyaluronic is, is keeping moisture in the skin. And then layer your next, your serum mm. or your moisturizer. During the day, I want to just sit there and just freshen up. You can use it over makeup again keeps your skin like hydrated a when you're traveling it's incredible because especially if you've been on the plane you know it dries mm -hmm. all your skin out and i've just been on a boat with in a room or cabin with air conditioning which again if you're sleeping all night with air conditioning your skin's drying out spritz of a lemon water hydrosol tonic makes all the difference now what's interesting, so it's also got pea peptide in here, it's got um, pea peptide. but just listening to the ingredients and also you saying about how you use it, it's actually a, um, you know, a really gorgeous version of how I would use a Korean essence. Yeah. So, you know, I layer a lot of Korean essence before my serum, but with this one, you've got those amazing ingredients, kind of hydrating, fortifying the skin. See, I think it's more of a hydrator yeah. than, a, than yeah. just a tonic. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Definitely, it's not, it's not a toner. It's, uh, I don't think so, because for me, I think it's just locking in that moisture yeah. and giving you an, another layer. layer. But you can mix this as we just did, evidence here. Um, you can mix it with a rendition root. You can mix it with tomato mm. seed. You can mix it with avobel. Um, there's a number of different things you can do with it, but this, this just really, really appeals to me. Because um, I'm always looking for lightweight moisture. Yeah. So you're not necessarily putting more... But it's that layer, isn't yeah. it? As opposed to having any weight added to it. Now, this is 100 mil, 50 pounds, but you actually don't use very much. The smell is extraordinary, mm. isn't it? 
beautiful. But it's such a natural. Yeah. And it's, it's not sharp flavor. citrus because of the neroli in there. It kind of, you know, balances it, it, it out. It doesn't just smell. Oh, it so doesn't strange. smell lemony no, as you no. imagine a lemon no. product. And you know, it's 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 a really great alternative because when you look at a lot of facial spritz, they're rose or they're cucumber or yeah. you know. So it's a really. Uh, but actually, nice you've option. got in there. Um, you've got pomegranate extract, cucumber extract, hyaluronic acid. You've got those deeply hydrating ingredients that are really protecting yeah. the skin. Yeah. You and know, the food enzymes really, um, really help. Mm. So you've got everything in there, a bit mm. of everything. Really Super gorgeous. Super versatile. Yeah. And again, going back to the guys, I think great after shaving, you know, to hydrate okay. and soothe the skin. Yeah. Okay. So when we, we tried this brand, uh, as I said to you before it launched, and we tried the products independently before we even um, started talking about them, and um, we both came to the conclusion um, that we had a favourite product, and actually it was the same one. Yes. Now, um, it probably wasn't a surprise, because we love a serum and we love an oil, um, and this is kind of a two-in-one. So this is the Super 25 Botanical Serum. Now. What I wanted to point out about this, um, and you had some great experiences with this when you first used it to help your skin, but what I wanted to point out is there's a lot of talk about single ingredient products yep. at the moment. Um, Especially oil. With brands that are, you know, just doing erosive oil or etc, etc, etc. And a lot of those brands are making things about, you know, marula oil and maracuja oil. Well, this is Super 25 because it has 25 different ingredients in it. And two of those are maracuja and marula, which I know are getting a lot of talk. So again, that amazing golden colour. Let you have a little go. I'm going to put it in my other hand because I've got one good hand. Look at this. I've got one from the um, branded from the oven. So what I want to tell you about this product was while we were testing it, I had a facial and part of that facial was microdermabrasion. Not with this, you had a with a with a. Oh, salon. not a facial. Yeah, no, yeah. no, a salon. Something I was reviewing. No, not with this range. And I had microdermabrasion, which doesn't always work very well for my skin. I've got incredibly thin skin. You've probably seen, you, know, you can see all the veins. And I ended up with a few patches on my face, which were very tender and, mm. and sore. They were sore. And it, and, you know, you look at it and you think, oh great, I have this wonderful facial. My skin looks amazing, except for the bits that are sore. So we were trying it. Super 25 um, and I just thought oh, I'm just going to put this on tonight nothing else I cleanse my face I just put the Super 25 Botanical Serum on I went to bed the next morning I was so shocked I mean my skin was healed mm -hmm. not absolutely gone but it was healed two days two nights and my skin was back to normal. It literally healed my skin. Mm. Now, for me, that is quite phenomenal. I mean, mm. my skin looked amazing. It was glowing. It just looked nourished. The lines looked slightly softer. And I was really, really impressed. The only thing I didn't like was we had a little tiny yeah. pickle. Teeny and I was just literally eking it out because I didn't want it to run out. But it, it's just gorgeous mm. i think it is probably my favorite product mm. of this year so yeah. far I and mean, it's really been so amazing so i think what's interesting it's a combination of fruit nut berry seed all all different oils um but it is and it's interesting you know when when you and again go on the website and have a look the information is phenomenal on there but it's like when I read this, it's like reading something that you're going to cook with. It's a with recipe, isn't it? Because you've got here antioxidants, polyphenols, phytosterols, essential fatty acids, vitamins. Mm. So it's all of those things that... But it's real nourishment, isn't it? But they strengthen as well. So if you have a skin that is compromised because it's sensitive, because you've had a treatment, because you've been on medication, because you've been in the sun or you're going, you've been skiing and any type of thing where you feel, you know, maybe you've used a retinol that's been too much, any type of thing when you feel, oh, I need some love. Mm. 
And to me, I think the interesting thing is, and you know, we're lucky enough to know Elijah, this sums up the philosophy it is like love for your skin in a bottle. It is, but I think his creations, again, are like somebody who's cooking a meal. Yeah. You know, you want to nourish. And you want and, to cook with love. Yeah. You know? But I think bringing together these ingredients, they are so natural. And superfood is just the absolute right name for it because they are all food ingredients, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. And this really is a recipe for nurturing your skin yeah i mean you could literally you know go and pick these up in in a, in a whole foods market you know some of these so again green coffee rose hip prickly pear so the maracuja that i've said the marula macadamia um it goes on and on pomegranate um, the list is fantastic i've actually got the list in front of me and it is just Sea buckthorn, and I know Amazing. we've talked about that as a, as a benefit before. Yeah, I mean, um, everything. Pomegranate seed, hemp seed, avocado oil, sesame seed oil, moringa. I mean, it's, they're just the most amazing, amazing mm. ingredients. Mm. So, we'll list the ingredients, we'll put, uh, we'll put everything into an article onto the website. And this is £75, uh, but again, you're not going to need very much. Um, you can always add a drop into a moisturiser if you want to kind of um, intensify the benefits of your moisturiser. Yeah. But I would recommend um, just one or two drops into the palm of the hand and just really kind of pressed and massaged into the skin. You know the other thing I tried it with is just putting a little tiny drop into your foundation or your tinted yeah. moisturiser and because of that gorgeous colour mm. It brightens. just brightens and gives your skin this amazing glow. But this is a 30ml bottle yeah. and literally, I think two, three drops yeah. at the absolute most mm. um, will cover your face, your neck, mm -hmm. and, and really beautifully. And I think the other thing as well, I had a lady interesting me this morning who'd had a lot of breakouts all of a sudden and um, I think some of it was from products that she was using and I talked to her about going back and kind of simplifying her range and um, you know she'd asked me should I go on to like an acne range and sometimes they take the skin the other way so you know just be nice to your skin we've said that so many times and I think you know with ingredients like this which are also very healing and nurturing it's going to help calm that irritation sensitivity and also help heal up those kind of uh, I think problems. also it's a sensory experience yeah. isn't it everything with Bodhi and Birch as you're using it it's it's calming it's nurturing you know all your senses are mm. being stimulated at once the sight the smell mm. the feel mm. it, it's all encompassing yeah. isn't it and this is all done completely naturally. We've got no essential oils in here. There's nothing in here that could possibly harm. There's, there's no parabens or anything. They're all natural ingredients. All um, vegan as well. Yeah. Um, I love this. Tested on humans, not animals. Um, <laughs> Us. So, yeah. You know, it's, it's certainly, um, if you're not familiar with the brand, um, please go check them out. Um, I guarantee you'll also leave the website with some of their wonderful um, bath products as well. Well, they are absolutely gorgeous, but this is a range that's being created with passion and love, and um, this is not a commercial enterprise. This is not a huge brand. This is a, a small, independent brand that, that we can't say enough good things about, really. Mm. So if you've got any questions, um, if you've got any skin challenges and you want to know whether superfoods would work, drop them below the video or come through via email to Fighting50 um, and uh, we'll do our best to answer them and if we can't we shall get on the phone to Elijah. And Elijah will answer them because he's incredible about uh, meeting people's needs in every way so even if you've got a, a question that seems incredibly hard to answer he will do it, mm -hmm. he always does. So, thank you for watching. This is the Bodhi and Birch Superfood Series. And as Nikki says, any questions, just let us know. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye.